Welcome back, everybody, because I'm here for you. I'm not going to name any names, but somebody, one of you out there wrote us and asked about this. Our segment, Should I Worry, asking, I don't brush my teeth every day. Should I worry? They know who they are. Dr. Siegel. I brush my teeth, but I can't say that everyone in my family does, and I am not going to name oh, names boy. here. I am not naming names. But listen, the Army's coming out with a combat gum that will take the place of, of brushing in some instances, but I am not advertising that either today. I'm telling you, brush your teeth two to three minutes, three times a day if you can, mm. with flossing, after meals, rinse out that toothbrush, get to the inside teeth, because, Jamie, because of plaque, because the plaque is an, is an inflammatory because it gets into your bloodstream. That's because the same it, as the plaque in your arteries? Absolutely. No, 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 it's not. But it's an inflammatory marker that leads to heart disease. Study after study has shown that people with gum disease have a higher incidence of heart disease. And gum disease, Eric, you asked me, what about flossing? Sure, but it's flossing and brushing that decreases your risk of gum disease. You've got to do both. If you decrease your risk of gum disease, you decrease your risk of heart disease. One last thing. Pregnant women are more likely to have preemies if they have bad oral hygiene. Wow. So it's not just uh, g keeping your breath fresh or teeth clean, it's actually could affect your heart. Yes, and don't let him scare you. He sounds like a, like a dentist. Don't be scared. Look, I think the concept behind this is very interesting. As you mentioned, it's not so much about the bad odor or gingivitis and periodontis, you're going to lose the teeth. That's not the point. The, the physiology behind it is very, very interesting. The bacteria gets into the blood. There's a protein on this bacteria called PAN-A, which attracts a lot of these platelets that we have in our blood. Now what's going to happen to this bacteria is going to have a shell around it that your immune system is not going to get to it. So it's going to now, it's, this guy is going to go anywhere you in your body. You helped it out, didn't you? There you go. And we're chasing this bacteria. Where is it going to go? It's going to go to the valve, endocarditis and, and heart disease vasculitis, heart attack, all of that. So just from brushing your teeth. So a lot of dentists out there, and I've had a lot of discussions, will tell you just simple floss and toothbrush is going to save your life. What percent of America are flossing today? Do you know? Oh, probably, I, I don't know, 20? About 40%. So oh, wow, it's not good. as bad. But okay. we want to encourage people to do it more often. This combat gum is actually has some scientific data behind <laughs> it. I studied it. It actually kills the bacteria. Mm. This is another one that we want to look into it he, in he the future. He is scaring people, too. He is also scaring no, people. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the combat gum. We're going to start brushing our teeth and, and flossing and three times a day. replace okay. your toothbrush every three months That's another at good least point. because that bacteria loves to live on That's it. That's a good uh,